Hey there, art nerds. I've got another art supply haul to share with you guys today. Jackson's was having a sale on their watercolors and of course being the weak-willed person that I sometimes am when it comes to art supplies, I had to indulge. So I figured why not unbox and share my haul with you guys, give you guys you know, just something to look forward to in the pipeline far, far away in a long time from now. And just some things that I've been looking forward to as well. So let's go ahead and unbox my Jackson's haul. If you're new here, hi, I'm Becca Hilburn. I am a watercolor comic artist. I make the watercolor comics seven inch Kara. I am also an illustrator, both in inks and in watercolor. You can read my comic at seveninchkara.com, free as a webcomic, or if you're a fan of the dead tree format, you can order copies of seven inch Kara from the Netto shop. It might make a wonderful Christmas or holiday present for a young person you know who likes charming tales of tiny people and who might enjoy watercolor graphic novels. It could be a good book to read together. The first two volumes are out. And if you order both, I have a special deal for you guys. Or like I said, you can read it as a webcomic and that's a good way to see if it might be a good fit for you. This thing is, whoo, apparently there's a tear strip. All right, there we go. We got it. Basically free. I apologize for any weird atmospheric noises. I cannot find the adapter for my lavalier mic today. And I decided to just push on through because that's what we do here. So inside are a couple of smaller boxes. And then on the exterior is our shipping manifest slash receipt, which I'll go ahead and remove. So I'm not going to share the receipt on camera because it does contain my personal address and I'm just not comfortable with sharing that to the very public internet. But what I like about the receipt is that it includes the full price, it includes the sales price, it includes the sales tax, and it includes what you paid. And I have encountered way too many receipts that don't include any of that. So I really appreciate it because it makes my bookkeeping a lot easier. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our two packages. I also wanna compliment Jackson's on their packaging. So far, everything is pretty eco-friendly and recyclable. I appreciate that, including the packing peanuts, which seem to be those cornstarch peanuts. I am sure my pet rat, Basil, will enjoy those. So they were having a pretty significant sale. So I wanted to take advantage of that and get some things that I've been wanting to try out but couldn't quite justify it. So we have a very small, I think this is a Daler and Rowney watercolor kit. I was hoping this one would be nicer than some of the other ones I reviewed from Daler and Rowney. It doesn't necessarily seem to be, but it's going into the student grade showdown. So you guys will hear more about that later. We also have the limited edition super granulation haze, which my local store has started carrying Schminka, and they've got everything but random gray and haze. And I swatched random gray during one of my live streams, and it is a beautiful color. I got it through St. Louis Art Supply. Oh, these are very wee tubes. They are very cute, but they are very tiny. Um, these are the five milliliter tubes and I paid $30.84 for this set, which I mean Schminka is expensive, so what are we gonna say? And I actually reviewed the Schminka super granulating watercolors, including the haze set through dot cards, and I have that already up here on YouTube. So if you're curious about these or their other super grands, I hope you guys will check that video out. I have reviewed a lot of super granulating watercolors on the channel because I love them. I think they're really cool and I think they'd be a great fit for my comic work. So if you're interested in that or in watercolor comics, I hope you'll check out some of my other super granulating and some of my other comic videos. So well, it's kind of weird that these two got their own box, but that's all right. Then over here, whoa, these are really pretty. These are the A. Gallo watercolors, and I believe these are handmade, but like 
a little bit higher end handmade. These are beautiful. I've talked before about how when you buy small business, and I say this as a small business, you want some kind of extra special touch. Maybe it's you're buying from a creator whose work you love and you want to support them, or someone who's friends with you on Twitter or Facebook, or someone whose work has influenced or inspired you over the years, or somebody who's, whatever they are making, they put that little extra love and that little extra time into it. And I'm not like picky about how you express that above and beyond, but I do, again, as a fellow small business, I do wanna see that above and beyond. And I do feel like these A Gallo paints, with the way they've been packaged, with the way the swatch is included, and there's a swatch on the half pans, and the gold foil seal, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I wanna see. It's not like a huge leap of difference. It's not an order of magnitude more difficult, but it's just that extra care that tells you like a person did this. And I appreciate that, and I can't wait to explore these with you guys a little bit later on. I also appreciate that the color name, the series, I guess that's the color number, the pigments, and then I'm not super sure. I know what some of these mean. Don't know what all of these mean, but they have their website and probably their social handles right there. So we can figure that out together. But I really appreciate just how dang accessible. They put all the information you're going to need right there on the package and they're beautifully packaged. They look like little gems. I'm really excited about these. And then we have our Isaro watercolors and people have been talking about these. I have heard them really chatted up and I wanted to see if they're worth it. And these are smaller tubes. So it's a good thing I got them on sale. I also have the Ludia plant-based watercolors that I, I was working on doing like a whole plant-based watercolor series. And then things kind of petered out because I just hit several dead ends. So maybe you guys can help me. If you know of any other manufacturers who make plant-based watercolors, like have a series of like, let's say the Essential 6 mixing colors with some earth tones, that would be a huge help. Please let me know down in the comments. I'll investigate them. I did investigate the Kaya watercolors, but she hasn't offered them in a long time. I've also investigated making my own by trying to uh, use chalk or talc as the substrate that we uh, get our dyes, our plant-based dyes to cling to. And I've hit a bunch of dead ends on that. So if you know anything at all about making watercolors using dye bases or using plant bases, please get a hold of me in the comments or reach out to me on the paintbrush, paint box, my art centric discord server, because I'm really curious about it. I'd really like to explore it more and I've just hit some dead ends. And I know there's like a lot of commonalities with dyeing for clothing, but there's some holes in what's available online and I'm just not intelligent. I just don't have that background to be able to jump those holes. But if you do, or if you know a good resource, I'd love to hear about it because a lot of the resources that used to sell these kind of plant-based watercolors are not offering them anymore, or they are like the Ludia paints are super <laughs> price prohibitive. For From what I've heard from a friend who bought some and then I bought hers off of her, they are just kind of underwhelming with the color delivery. So it's a little bit of a tangent, but I kind of lump a sorrow with those in, the, in my mind, not that they're made the same way, but because I kind of found out about both at the same time. So I look forward to sharing these with you guys as well. I'm really, really excited about that. Now, normally at this part of the haul, I would say that this was made possible thanks to the generosity of my Patreons. I can't do that this time because I had already spent my Patreon funds on the Molotile sketch markers. I'm still waiting on those to come in, as well as I think two other things. Oh yes, the Mondo Llama watercolors, which I've already reviewed, but I still need to do the voice work for, and the Amy Tangerine watercolors, which I have not yet reviewed. So. 
those are in the works. When Jackson's had a sale though, I really wanted to be able to take advantage of it because it was not just like picky choosy about which watercolors, it was pretty much like watercolor wide. And since some of these brands are so expensive, I definitely wanted to take advantage of that. So I <laughs> used my own funds and some money from my husband to be able to buy these. So thank you teaching gigs that I do to earn a living. And thank you to my husband, Joseph Coco, because he and, and me are the reason I'll be able to review these for you guys. But generally, my awesome, amazing patrons are the reason I'm able to bring reviews to you guys because I use the funds from Patreon to buy most of the supplies that I review. In this instance, it was out of pocket, but in general, it's coming from Patreon. So even if this particular batch isn't thanks to them. I do still want to thank them because their support and encouragement really means the world to me. And it's why I not only can afford to continue to do these reviews, but even still want to do these kind of reviews. So thank you guys so much. The total cost for this was $201.33. I've got my receipt in front of me off to the side for the Schmincke set. I paid $30.84 and it says no sales tax so that's pretty awesome. Let's see the Asaro paints range in price from $3.88 for yellow ochre which is like crazy inexpensive all the way up to the most expensive one is $7.48 thanks to this sale. So that with the sale price that's actually very reasonable and the Asaro are the tiny little tubes here. The a Gallo paints are more expensive. I think the cheapest one of the A Gallos is $7.84, but that is to be expected for a handmade product because an individual you just don't have the economies of scale to make it cheaper since they're not being mass produced. And you also want to be able to pay yourself and your employees a livable wage. And that does mean that small business products are often a little bit more expensive, but you do get the warm, fuzzy feeling of knowing that you're supporting an individual rather than supporting the fat cats behind a corporation. So that is a reason to consider shopping small business, especially with the holiday season coming up. Your money, your dollar can go a lot further and mean a lot more to an individual who runs a small business than it might mean if you're buying from Walmart or you're buying from Windsor Newton. So that, that might be something to consider. And I did buy these through Jackson's, but I do wanna point that out. So I said the cheapest was $7.84 and the most expensive was their Vermilion Red, which was $9.60. So with the sale, it was actually still very affordable considering. And then the travel watercolor set, and it doesn't actually said who made it. And oh man, at some student grade showdown right there. Um, I think it was a Daler Rowney, but before I do the showdown, I'm going to go ahead and investigate who made it if I can. I paid $8.29 for the entire set, so that's uh, shockingly cheap. I just wanted to share my haul with you guys. Art supplies don't have to break the bank, but it does mean keeping up with what sites are having a sale. And a good way to do that is to go ahead and sign up for their mailing list and hold on to those dollars and cents carefully until they're having a sale, because that can be a great way to get the most mileage for your dollar. I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul. I can't wait to explore all of these with you guys in further depth. With the exception of the Super Grands, those are going straight into my palette because I've already reviewed them. So you guys can check out my Schmincke Super Granulating Watercolor video if you're interested in that. But I can't wait to explore the rest of these with you guys in the near future. So let me know down in the comments below, what are you the most excited to see? The A Gallo? The Asaro watercolors or this mystery travel watercolor set? Let me know down below.